Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be solving oopsie from Hectabox, let's start. Um, I have done an nmap scan already and we know we have HTTP open, so I can perform a GoBuster scan as well. And while it's performing, I can actually visit the website here. So let me just go there and this is our website. Um, there is nothing working here, Stemo. And there is nothing here to be honest, so if you go to our first question which is with what kind of tool can inter intercept web traffic so it's basically proxy one of the example of it is in burp suit burp suit proxy what is a path to a directory on the web server that returns a login page so there's nothing here i can see and if i go to my go buster there's nothing really much and the status is 301 so for example if i go for example slash images is 301 here so nothing useful here but we can click on inspect here and see what's up so this here is like summary of what's going on and here if we go to our script javascript we have this login page so we can actually copy this directory from here so let me just copy it here and go right here so yeah we have this login page here we can try a lot of stuff here SQL injection and everything we can try default credentials and everything but that does not work here we have an option here login as guest so we can try this and it looks like um car management something i don't know we have our account which is guest um we have branding clients uploads so uploads required super administrator rights okay and we are logged in as guest okay so uh here we have this and one of the things when i'm doing web pen testing i want to know the basic or foundation of the website how it's working and one of the things I check in that is how it stores cookies and what's the storage here. So if I go to, for example, um, application and local storage or um, here, we have something here, which is role is equal to guest and user is equal to 2233. So which is very interesting. We can manipulate them to see we are admin. So let me just try going for admin here and now for refresh. Um, it's not uh, admin okay here in the login we have accounts and id is equal to so let me just try it one okay okay yeah i get it so um when we modified this url here we have the access id and name so let me just copy this here as well and then we can see if we have the administrator permission yeah so if i go to upload now yeah we can basically upload data now we have bypassed the administrator rights um I can bypass um, upload a PHP shell here so let me grab a PHP shell so the PHP shell I used here I used normally is um, PHP pen test monkey shell it's a very great shell um, here on github I can try this and this is a shell I'm looking for so let me just copy this uh, here let me copy and this is a shell I normally use, so let me just copy this. Um, I can nano shell dot um monkey shell dot php, which is more interesting, I suppose. Copy this shell here and close it. So no, no, I can um I need to modify it according to my IP here. So let me actually go here and go for uh, I have config here paste my IP in the shell and choose an open port um so we can upload the shell there five 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 which works for me i usually do on this and okay and now we can nc uh and l and we help p five 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 and we are listening here so this is our shell here we're gonna be uploading so let me just actually upload it here where it is um choose file so um we can go um slash home and monkey shell.php and upload it 
so we have successfully uploaded it it does not um it allows php file directories it does not have some kind of you know thing to block it but um in order to activate the shell we know we have um slash uploads in gobuster we found so we what we can do is we can try slash uploads and name of our shell layer so which is monkey shell.php so if i execute it we have um a shell here which is not much interactive but yeah we got a reverse shell here we can try id and everything here so where are we um we can go to slash home ls uh, cd robert ls cat user.txt here is our user flag and now we can answer our questions so i went too far away i did not answer the question so let me just go to the question what is the path to the directory on the web server that represents the login page so it was um uh, cdn the cdi slash login um what can be modified in firefox to get access to the upload page so we modify the cookies what is the access id of the admin user so we saw our admin user has um account if we go there three four three two two so three four three two two on uploading a file where directory there's a file appear on the server so it was slash uploads what is the file that contains the password of the shared with robot user so actually um we have a reverse shell now but it's not stable and let me just close the gobuster scanner as well okay so what we are gonna do is um we have ssh here so it indicates here that we need to find a um, password of this robot user so we can um ssh here okay so that's going to be my approach i can go to slash um where do we go let's let me just go there let me just go there we got dash tmp where we have usually www uh slash var slash www and i'm sorry it was slash var and let me just ls it here so we have dot html uh, cd html um ls so this is um a folder i usually check if uh something is hosting or hosted on a website because we can find a lot of stuff so we have slash images slash index.php js themes uploads okay we can cat index.php and there's nothing till now yeah ls um we got cd cdn dash cdi ls cd login ls and we have db.php which is interesting so let me cat db.php we have user robot and mega carp user which is password so we can try ssh here ssh robert at the rate our ip which is this i mean just ssh and this is our password so yeah okay so we are in successfully ssh and now we can do a lot of stuff here so ssh is very interactive and this shell sucks so fuck this and now let's go for ssh so what's the next question here let me just see so what is a file it was db.php what is the executable run with the group bug tracker to identify all the files on the bug tracker group so i suppose um we need to um get privilege escalation now so we can try sudo dash l password for robert is i have copied it we cannot run um sudo here but um it gave us a hint here which is wet executable and but execute i think this executable spelling is wrong as well um for group tracker to identify all the five execute okay so uh we can try to find it here so it's asking us for this command find we need to find this slash group tracker find in root dash group bug tracker uh i think um we can locate it as well if it has locate um but um it's basically asking us to um have this here 
uh, so we can find this in a group and regardless of what user starts running the bug, uh, bug tracker executable which user privilege it will run, use to run yeah so I'm um, basically it's giving us hint to use this bug tracker to um uh, escalate our privileges so it could is it's root here anyways we have this here so let me just go there cd slash user slash pin and ls um, uh, my mistake ls that's la bug tracker so we have um bug tracker here and let me just run it it's executable so let me just run it um it's telling us to provide a bug id we can type one two three and what it does is it's going for slash root slash report one two three okay so um for example we run this bug tracker application here um, and provide a bug ID it's going to check for this bug ID here in slash root slash report and one two three is going to get this uh, with um root privileges so I have an idea here I can try to read the root like here slow slash root slash um root dot txt yeah so we basically cat slash root slash root dot txt here and we need to um escalate our privileges using this here so we are basically through this exe we can run cat as um we can we are basically using cat uh, uh as root users so let me just go to gtfo bins and use cat here so cat and so um i suppose it's saying we can use cat to only read and write uh, read files as administrator so there's one way we can we can do is um we can um for example uh I, i'll give you an uh, I'll, I'll show you guys an example what we can do here so what we when we type a bug here it uses this cat command here and we know everything in linux is um serves as a file here if you don't know linux basics i i suggest you are learning it but um everything in linux acts as a file so for example um we have this cat command here uh i can echo the path so um what um when we run this cat command here what it will do is it will um try to find a cat in this directory then this directory then this directory uh to run the command and when it finds it is going to run it now what we can do is we can modify the cat here to um, basically uh, get privilege escalation or um, spawn a shell so we can um, basically privilege escalation so we can um, basically um, locate cat here so there are two ways we can do it we can uh, uh, modify the cat command here or um, create our new path in which we have a new file cat and modify that here so this was not a good idea uh let me just go and which cat uh which cat and we have cat in this directory so let me just go slash let me cat cat okay this is interesting so i cat cat and this is what it shows let me just clear it um what it was um uh, sorry um we can now uh ls la this here so we don't have right permissions here i suppose so we cannot modify it now what i can do is i can add my own path here so export path is equal to let me just do tmp dollar path echo dollar path now what it will do is it will first search for if we run cat command it will first search for it in dash tmp slash tmp and then other so let me just go to slash tmp nano cat um slash pin slash sh and um modify it here and let me make it executable chmod plus uh, x to uh, for executable cat and locate bug tracker which was the exe so let me just run this here so if i do I, if i just run it here it will one two three 
and yeah we are basically root now here and now for example I type uh, cd slash root ls um, cat no we cannot cat it because we have modified the cat here so we cannot cat it anymore but we can use nano root.txt and we have the root here so this was a very interesting box I would say it was fun and very good for beginners and kind of confusing as well so if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment sections and I will be happy to reply you but anyways this was it for today's video um I hope you guys liked oopsie from hack the box I'll meet you guys in another video goodbye